Hello, my name is Ikra and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am back with another Qatar 2022 volunteering vlog. I received my offer as a FIFA Fan Festival team leader on 8th August, accepted it by 10th August and was invited for the orientation event happening on 2nd September by 12th August. So, on 2nd September, around 6.12ish, I was ready with my comfortable sports shoes on, white jeans and black t-shirt. I was going for a black and white themed outfit. Finding our way to LaSalle Stadium was a struggle. Because every road we followed on Google Maps led to a dead end. So after a few failed attempts, we just followed a few cars in front of us and the road signs to reach the parking lot of the stadium. By 6.56, I was dropped off by my dad, and that's when the walk towards the stadium started. This was my first time visiting LaSalle Central City. It was quite interesting to see lit-up buildings next to half-done construction work give a very dystopian vibe. The walk continued, got closer to the stadium, but also was so sweaty. I was questioning my life decisions at this point. Anyway, passed through security and received a recharge voucher to collect my snack pack inside the stadium. After security, it was a bit of a walk yet again, and my sweat glands were not appreciating it one bit. On a closer look, the whole stadium is triangular patterned with a strip of pink light on the top. That's a blueprint of the circular stadium with 40 main entrances to choose depending on the ticket you have. Mine was gate 16, so it was just straight ahead taking these stairs to the gate where you can scan the QR code of your ticket. You then have to find the right block to enter from. Mine was 211, so, so, so many steps away. On the way to my block, I stopped at the recharge station to collect my snack pack. Now, while handing the snack pack to me, they never asked my food preference, but I'm hoping they did have vegetarian option for people that needed it. I didn't really mind. On the way, I also came across these signboards or whatever you want to call it. So I decided to write my social handle as well as plug my YouTube channel. Subscribe, please, if you haven't already. By 7.24, I finally found my block. So it was time to see what the field looked like. The whole vibe was very purple, turquoise, greenish. Very much in line with the volunteer branding for this year. I settled in my seat, but I was still extremely sweaty from all the walking I had to do. I'm so glad I wore sports shoes. So in the snack bag, we had a wrap, cupcake, salted cashew nuts, coke and water. They announced that there's still 30 minutes to go for the event to start. Until then, they had this really hyped up DJ playing and dancing to songs. The whole crowd was pretty meh, apart from some people. Shout out to these two waving in sync. Alright, so after that, a few minutes before the kickoff, we had Sam come up to hype the crowd and teach us a TikTok dance, steps to the Haya Haya song. So we all had to stand up and learn the steps. Then we finally had a 10 seconds countdown while these performers were getting ready for their act. These circular lightings look pretty promising, but if I'm really honest, the entire act was mediocre at best. It was pretty out of sync and majority of the ground was poorly lit and kind of boring. Then we had the hosts of the event come up. This lady's outfit was so shiny. That was the most amusing part of it all. Look how glittery that is. So for the rest of the event, they pretty much just called various people to talk. There was also a rapper that kept saying, I'm awesome, I'm awesome, I'm awesome. And that's when I noticed the sweet little detail of the stadium screen strip. Then an unexpected video message from David Beckham wearing a Qatar 2022 t-shirt with again some generic scripted speech. And finally, a reveal of the volunteer uniform for this year. I love full sleeve color block design, but at the event, what was annoying is they were having a fashion show on the stage, but the screens showed a recorded video. 
So it was really annoying having to keep switching your vision back and forth. If they just display what was going on the stage, on the screen, it would be so much better. Throughout the event, whatever was happening just felt like it was being done for the cameras and press rather than the 20,000 volunteers they decided to invite. So after a point, I don't know, it felt really off. Just felt like a waste of time of an event because we were sitting there in the audience as a prop for a show they were trying to record for the world to see rather than in involve us in the event. After the uniform showcase, the volunteer oath was taken Another speech by the FIFA ambassador, Tim Cahill, who's played for four World Cups so far. The hosts also did this really weird thing where they'd keep passing it to a host and two volunteers in Stadium 974 live. Highly doubt it was live because any questions the host asked, the answers were pre-recorded and highly edited. And they did this three, four times, which felt like a weird, lazy way to have buffer time to prep for the next act. The amount of times we had to hear the names David, Ebony and Siraj, shout out to them I guess. By 8.44, some people just started getting up and leaving while they played yet another not so useful recorded video and last dance act of the event. By 8.50, the seats were pretty much empty, took a final video of myself in the stadium, but little did I know that things were about to get a whole lot worse leaving the stadium, trying to reach home. Around 20,000 people gathered at LaSalle Stadium for this event and the capacity for the stadium is about 80,000. So this is not even one fourth of the crowd and was such a mess trying to direct them. Now before I start my journey back home, I decided to take some time out to eat my wrap awkwardly in public. This is where I also got to speak to two volunteers who offered to take a picture of me. Now after that, it was a long, sweaty walk yet again. Everyone was just being hurdled towards the metro station, so it didn't even matter if you had parked your car on the other side of the stadium. They had closed that road and would only allow us to go to the metro station. On my way, I also noticed a lady had just fainted and was lying on the road. There was also just a pile of trash in the middle of the road pretty weird. Near the metro, they kept blocking the entrance to manage crowd and that kept clogging people. Just so stressful thinking corona is still a thing so I put my mask back on. Also RIP to this lady's feet that came with heels. I was so stressed that my body was having an itch reaction and these bumps were surf surfacing out of nowhere. My dermatologist has told me that I'm allergic to stress but just seeing this bump surface was very... Stressful, but also amusing. I didn't take much footage because my phone was dying, but even on the highway road, a line of car and people were waiting because the roads and directions to LaSalle Stadium and Metro were very poorly designed. Why even host an event at a venue that is so inaccessible? I don't understand. But yeah, that's been my experience with the orientation event that happened on 2nd September. Please subscribe. Click here to watch my Albed Arab Cub opening ceremony vlog or here to watch my Qatar National Library vlog. That's all for now. Okay, bye!